the thoughts, views, and comments expressed by Rodney Monker, his guests, callers, and advisors on Freedom March are not necessarily those of the management, ownership, or production unit of ILS, the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is a production of ILTV Studios and cannot be reproduced or represented in part or entirety without the express written consent of the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is the intellectual property of the Verizon Media Group. Copyright 2017. All rights are reserved. The role of a woman in the society is to submit. Void control are the pills of the devil. Education is so fundamental to the development of a people. Hang murderers. Simple as that. What am I voting for? Voting will change nothing. Good moon, I see Kumo ye. God save the queen. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Freedom March. My name is Rodney Monker. I'm a justice of the peace here in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. And of course, I shall shout it from the mountaintop. I'm a member of the Holy Roman Catholic Church. I welcome everyone who has joined me. And of course, until my spiritual advisor arrives in studio, I shall be assisted by my Negro brother and colleague, Dion Delancey. Dion, welcome to Freedom March. Pleasant good afternoon, Senator Monka. Thank you. Well, it's been a long weekend, and I thank God that I feel good. I'm alive, and I am grateful to God that notwithstanding my sins, and today I sat down and I was just counting sins. I was counting my sins. And like for instance, my first sin is the Nuncio de Aguilar. I mean, he's a big sin in my life. And then there's Deacon Jeff Lloyd. That's another sin. And they got me angry. And so all kinds of things has been happening. But praise the Lord, um, in the midst of the murders, our new prime minister say, ignore that because there's a calm. Well, on Friday, in the district of New Providence appeared before me a Negro mother of five light-skinned Negro children. And she declared, my justice of the peace, for I have labored in the vineyard of Reese Chipman, my newly elected FNM MP, and notwithstanding that I work so hard, I ain't got nothing to feed my children them. And Reese wouldn't pay me my one week pay. And I asked her, how much does Reese owe you? She said $400. Wow. Reese Chipman, it's the people's time. People time. I asked you to find the $400 before I use my powers and hold you on trial here. But when I come back, I'm going to appeal to my woman them that notwithstanding that this Negro lady went astray, voted for the F and M, and now Reese Chipman wouldn't pay her, I can't let them five little pretty children punish. And she said Reese owe her four hundred dollars. She campaigned up and down, wow. Ross Connor. And my God, Reese, according to her will not be able to pay until the first day of July. Huh? And that ain't fair. So I need $400 worth of grocery. I don't want no money, but y'all bring the grocery here. I need $400 worth of grocery because I can't allow the political sense of Reese to consume this woman. She's one of the women them, but she went astray. And she wrote f and Reese had a campaign and up and down, up and down. I call on Reese Chipman. My God, Reese, have a heart. The woman has five beautiful, light skinned children, and they need to eat. Get that $400, my brother, because when I return, 
I'm going to curse you on the FNM out because it's unfair to exploit the woman them. After all, it's the people's time. Freedom March with Rodney Monker will be right back after this. This is Freedom March with Rodney Monker. Welcome back to Freedom March broadcasting live on ILTV here in Nassau, Bahamas. My name is Rodney Monker. I'm a Justice of the Peace and I'm joined in studio by one of my technical assistants, Dion Delancey. Dion, yes, sir. I'm happy to have you here on Freedom March. Thank you. There is an interesting development taking place in the Office of the Attorney General, the House of Assembly, and with some lawyers, them, in Freeport. The lawyer, his name is Fred Smith. Fred Smith is the lawyer for a group called Save the Bay. Save the Bay is a supposed kind of environmental organization they're interested in saving the fish the, turtle. the bird the turtle the snake all sorts of nonsense they're into saving they even want to save a bay but when it comes to the lives of my people the Negro people they're not interested in saving that but it's a democracy, and that is what is allowed. If you, are, if you have good memory, you would recall that Save the Bay talk, the then Minister of Foreign Affairs and the Member of Parliament for Fox Hill, Fred Mitchell, the then Minister of Education, and the MP for Marathon, Jerome Fitzgerald, to court. Apparently, they accused them of somehow being in possession of unlawful copies of emails said to be owned by that group called Save the Bay. Now, you would recall that Jerome Fitzgerald told the parliament that he found it in his garbage tent. Here in the Bahamas, when you are given documents, or however they come in your possession, they have a cute way of describing it. They would say that they got it in their garbage tin. Well, in my case, when I get my documents, it comes from God, who sent people to bring them to me. <laughs> All right? But that's come with the garbage tin. So, save the bay. They got millions of dollars. You hear what they tell you? Millions. And if you could demonstrate to save the bay, that you could save their political backsides, all they got is money. Or they got more money than sponge your money. Sponge your money so they took know. Fred them to court before a judge, her ladyship, Indira Charles. She's from one of our Caribbean sisters, um, one of our Caribbean islands. And in the course of it, she acquitted Fred Mitchell, and she found that Jerome Fitzgerald had violated the rights, the constitutional rights of these ordinary citizens. Now, from time immemorial, there has been an ancient rule, law, tradition, convention that says that the people's representative can stand in the Honorable Senate or the House of Assembly and speak on any issue, and no one could sue them. But they sued, and the judge ruled in their favor. As a result of that, there became a clash between the separations of power, because the court is a part of one branch of the government. It's called the judiciary. And then the House of Assembly in the Senate, they are a branch of another part of the government. It's called the legislature. So there's a clash. Now, you have to be a Negro who understands the system. 
And so, the PLP government, recognizing that for the first time since independence, has there been a challenge to the authority of the Honorable House of Assembly, they represented and defended the two ministers. Now, the FNM, as most of you would know, while FNM means free national movement, in effect, I'm just watch it. I'm a member, even though I'm slowly walking away. The FNM really mean free, or should I say, foreign national movement. So Save the Bay is suspected of financing the FNM. Let us not forget that the current Minister of Youth, what's his name? What is the current Minister of Youth name? You don't remember the name of the <laughs> Negro man? No. He's short. He does agriculture, but he don't like hard work. He plays culture. Michael, man. Oh, my, oh. Michael Pentard. Yeah. He's the Minister of Youth. Michael was their consultant in a whole law firm. All right? So Michael worked for Save the Bay. And Papa, and by Papa, who do I mean? The Right Honorable Hubert Alexander Ingram. When he heard that Stogie, not Stogie, goodness of my sea, Togi. <laughs> Togi and Bobo. Togi, not Stogie, Togi, Bobo, the new Prime Minister, Hubert Minnis, and Michael, they had that controversy over who can kill and who say don't kill and who say bring fish and so forth. Papa said nobody was going to get killed. Hustlers. He said, Michael Pentard, the new minister in charge of youth, he is nothing but a hustler. He said, Dr. Minnis, the prime minister, he wasn't prime minister then. Papa say he was a hustler. And Papa say, Togi and Bobo wasn't going to kill nobody. They too were hustlers. So we have a Prime Minister who Hubert Ingram told me is a hustler, a Minister of Youth who Papa told me before he became a Minister is a, is a what the word I say Papa say? Hustler. Hustler. And Togi and Bobo. And I told the Commissioner of Police on one talk show, I say, Commissioner, go now and see Papa. Papa then finished investigating it. Ain't gonna be no murder other than Papa has found that Menace is a hustler. Michael Pentad is a hustler. And Togi and Bobo, they too, were hustlers. And Papa don't pussy foot. All right? And Papa don't respect pussy cat. And we know that Menace is a pussy cat. And so is Michael. Now, what is happening? Carl Battle. That light skin attorney general, he didn't have the balls to issue a statement to say that the Bahamas government has filed a application to dismiss the case. He doesn't do it. Who does it? The man who took the government to court. The man who's been successful in getting a whole judge of the Supreme Court to find Jerome Fitzgerald, for better word, guilty. You hear me? Now, what is the conflict? Well, Minnis and Michael, they are surrogates. You hear me? They are stooge for save the bay. And that is a fact. Now, they say that they are going to withdraw the case. Even though there's an appeal, and even though, indirectly, if that judgment of the court stands, that you could now take members of parliament to court, it now infringes on all the other members of parliament because it is unprecedented in the Bahamas. So, Fitzgerald is in trouble because if Minnesota and those decided that they do not want to defend the action, the least that they should have done is to say to Fitzgerald, have Carl Battle and Carl Smart. Carl Smart, he went to England. He's England trained. Manny Smart, and he passed the test. Perry Christie made him a QC. Papa didn't make him no QC. 
Because Papa don't mess around. If Papa can make you QC, you got to be Orville Tancrest or Henry Boswick. But the rest of them Negroes, Papa didn't make. So, he is a smart guy. But they are playing games. And it is dangerous what they're doing. But that's good for Jerome Fitzgerald. You've been in politics long enough to have a powerful branch organized so that you can take to the street and march on the government. That is what is going on. And it is wicked what is taking place. They were not supposed to just withdraw the case. They were supposed to inform Jerome, listen, the government ain't interested. We couldn't give a penny what the court does because we believe in Save the Bay. Menace believe in Save the Bay. And Michael Pentard know that there's no money. Let me tell you how they pay Michael. Let me show you how smart these people are. They said to Michael, we want you to be a consultant in a law firm. Wow. And I don't know if Michael know law, if law was as big as Christ Church Cathedral. And he's a consultant. You hear me? I don't know if Michael know law, if law was as big as Christ Church Cathedral. Wow. They can make me curse. Man, am I angry? I feel like cursing. Okay. Ching Wong 42. Ching Wong 42. I'm angry. I can't believe that Save the Bay is controlling the administration of justice. We're in trouble. Wow. And it is time that we run the FNM out of power. My God, don't surrender justice. Hold on to justice. Her parts are tender. And we should let no one finger justice in her most vital parts. In her most vital parts. They're nasty. And I'm angry. Can I, can, may I have some water? Yeah. <laughs> I'm angry, man. Oh, Lord. What's going on in my country? What's going on? That, that Fred Smith could be directing what is happening. Carl, I'm disappointed in you. I'm very disappointed. And let me tell you, if you don't stand up and be a man, I'm going to pull your file because I had you in the back of the bush training in 1987. I'm going to read your intelligence report. And when I finish, the F and M them ain't going to have nothing to do with you. But that is what is taking place. And I was happy to see that the leader of a majesty's opposition, what is the name of the leader of the opposition? Uh, the Honorable uh, Philip Brave Davis. The leader of a majesty's opposition, Philip Brave David, supported by decent, what the PLP woman name? Glennis Hanuman, the Honorable. The Honorable Glennis Hanuman. They put an eloquent case to the speaker. And I hate to say it, but I must say it. I was proud of the speaker. I liked the way he ruled. It was sober. Sober rule. Listen, DeVette, Halston, Moultrie, if you keep this up, you know, I may go to Nassau Village and tell those Negroes, give you a couple of months. But I was impressed. All right? But something is fundamentally wrong with it. Come, Menace, do not finger justice. Don't, because that isn't the way the system works. You should have allowed the appeal process to continue because at all material times, the previous speaker, he was the authority and he was the one who supported the commencement of the appeal and Halston Moultrie should continue to support it until at the end of the day when the court makes its decision and by the court, I'm referring to the Court of Appeal. And then, of course, if Save the Bay doesn't like the ruling, or if Jerome Fitzgerald doesn't like the ruling, they can go up the ladder to the Privy Council. But what can I expect from a man who... Should I say it? I think I'll go in Haitian Creole. Tout le monde a ici. Ma bien pile problème avec Fred. 
Fred Smith, il pas bon. Et je vais avoir un problème avec Jerome Fitzgerald. Parce que il sorti de la famille qui est esclave là. Je leur ai dit, qu'est-ce que vous pouvez espérer de Fred Smith Et les fils de slaves. C'est ce qu'il est. But Philip Brave Davis, keep standing strong. I'm proud of you. you. Your arguments are strong. The government is wicked. And that is one of the next conflict. Because we know that Save the Bay helped the FNM to come to power. Everybody was waking. Michael is a minister. And where Michael find all that money to fix roof. Fix roof all over Freeport. Yeah. I mean, he was just fixing roof. I mean, isn't that powerful? But we are in trouble for our plantation, because that's all this is. Y'all Negroes, y'all are nothing but a bunch of children of slaves. That's who y'all are. Woe unto a nation when the children of the slaves start ruling. Y'all have been damaged for the last 600 years, and I suspect it will take a thousand years to take the chain of slavery from around your no. mind. Oh, I just feel like I said, I mean, I'm an angry, man. It's amazing. What we can do? Well, I don't know. A bunch of apologetic Negroes. Goodness have mercy. Y'all is nothing but a bunch of King George III Negroes. All right? Anyway, y'all go right ahead. Y'all don't have any respect for your own institution. I'll help y'all to damage it. Paul Adley is dead. And the last time I caught a government official in crookedness, Paul Adley told me, don't say anything about it publicly. And so I waited until he died. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to get me a hammer and help to smash the institution. Because y'all Negroes ain't got no respect. No respect, man. Anyway, I don't know what we're going to do. What do you think I should do? Because I'm 60. Just take it easy and just watch. It's the people's time, you know. Just relax. Yeah, but they, these, 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 they're not acting as if they're free. I mean, uh, what kind of Negroes these are? Is Menace still a King George III Negro? And Carl, you can't be a Negro. So I want you to stand up, eh? I want you to stand up. Man, I'm in trouble. Anyway, when I come back, I'm going to have to tell the people, when I come back, I'm going to curse these Negroes out because they are undermining their own judicial institutions with their no good self. Got Fred Smith announcing in the Tribune what the government has done. It's amazing. Gone with your no good self. I'll be right back after the break. Freedom March with Rodney Monker will be right back after this. The thoughts, views, and comments expressed by Rodney Monker, his guests, callers, and advisors on Freedom March are not necessarily those of the management, ownership, or production unit of ILS, the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is a production of ILTV Studios and cannot be reproduced or represented in part or entirety without the express written consent of the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is the intellectual property of the Verizon Media Group. Copyright 2017. All rights are reserved. Welcome back to Freedom March, broadcasting live on ILTV here in Nassau, Bahamas. My name is Rodney Monka. And of course, joining me in studio is Mr. Dion Delancey. Dion, yes, sir. do you support our blessed majesty, Queen Elizabeth II? Yes, we pledge our allegiance. Yes, I do. Well, together, we should say, God, God save, save the, the Queen. Queen. <laughs> Wasn't there a big day for Her Majesty? Yes, I think on uh, Saturday past, June 10th was her official birthday yes but of course she was born in which month april 20 yes april 21st yes so her majesty has two birthday wow i need two birthdays yeah well 
your majesty, from your Negro subjects here in the Bahamas, we wish you a happy Pride Day. Yes. And we say, God, God save the, the queen. queen. That's powerful. Well, I want to start off by doing some shout out to Paulina Gray, a wonderful Negro lady who lives in a community called Free Town. Listen, I hope you feel much better, and I'm honored to know that you are one of the woman's them. And it is my hope that one day your children and the people of Free Town will rise up and vote the Nuncio de Aguila out. Also, I'd like to give a shout out to a wonderful athlete, E. Fort, Eddie Fort, from Windsor Lane East of East Street. Eddie, listen, I had some of that fish the other day, and I think I'm coming back, okay? Eddie, you are a great man. A great citizen. I also would like to salute a Negro man that I met on Saturday and after listening to him in the barber shop I was so inspired and flattered. Mikes, Mikes, I know the secret. You and all those Negro people gather under the tree. On East Street. Just opposite Hay Street. Yeah. There you all are now Joining me on Freedom March. Listen, I like y'all. Y'all know pussy fat. That's good. Y'all are good people. And continue to watch Freedom March and spread the message. And Mike, like I told you, I'm going to speak truth. Okay, Mike? And the boys. And the girls who are with y'all. And I'd like to also give out a, 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 a show out to a number of Negro women from Freeport. I saw them on Saturday at a funeral, and as I look at them, I said, listen, I am too much in a state of mourning. I was mourning the passing of a resident of Black Village, Sister Shirley Brown. And I look at them, and I slip out of the church. But they found me on Sunday, and I was summoned to Another week, there I met a number of charming, charming women from Freeport who declared that they were one of the women them. So Erica Stubbs, listen, I know your pa and your mother, okay? They are originally from Big Porn. I know them. I'm 60. And of course, I want to salute you, Erica, and you too, Flo. Flo Johnson. It was an honor meeting you. And of course, who else was it? Last night I met a wonderful Negro lady at Arawaki. I hope she didn't hear me as I was r ranting over what's the name of the Negro man in charge of environmental environment and hygiene? Right. But listen, Adline Lucas, you are a wonderful Negro woman. And I am happy that you declared in the front of the man and the children them that you are one of the woman them. And of course, a shout out to a Conky Joe young man in Marsh Harbor, Donna Malone. Donna, how's my goddaughter? Can you imagine? I went down to Marsh Harbor, stood as godfather. And I see the child in five years. That's bad. Donna, I'm going to catch the next mail boat. And I'm coming down. Okay? You do well and give your mother my love. So they are some of the Negroes that I am giving a shout out. And to the rest of you, I'm 60. So sometime I misplace your names. But tomorrow we'll look at it. On Friday evening... After I left the show, I immediately went to my office. There, a Negro lady appeared. She's the mother of five light-skinned Negro children. And I was told that there was a Negro lady at the door, and I welcomed her in. And as she entered, she said, 
Mr. Justice of the Peace, I didn't expect you to be here. I said, don't worry about that. Come in, sister. She said, listen, I campaigned for Reese Chipman. And he has not paid me. I have five children. I ain't got nothing to give them to eat. And as she spoke to me, child number one, Russian side. Man, you should have seen the child. And the next thing I know, child number two, Russian. Oh. And when I saw them pretty children, I said, my Lord, I can't let them go hungry. They really is that pretty? Yeah, man. Yeah. So I said, well, what you mean, Reese ain't pay? She said, listen, he offered me the people's time. <laughs> That's what he offered her. She said, he campaigned, had him campaigning all over Ross Connor. And when it was all over, she looked forward to that salary. She said, look, election done over. And tomorrow, this is Friday she's talking about, which would have been Saturday past, would be the 10th. She said, it's one month. And for one month, Reese Chipman has ignored what time is it? It's the people's time. It's the people's time. Well, Ms. Monka, let me, let me ask. These persons that um, campaign for these individuals, when they, when they are hired, is it contractual? Do they sign agreements? Or is the word of mouth just a verbal agreement on whatever? Well, in the case of the Negro lady, um, there was no contract. Don't forget, there already exists. A contract between the party okay. and the people. Many say, if you vote for us, what time it is? It's the people's time. It's the people's time. And my God, Chippy, um, I don't mean your grandpa. I better get your name right. My Re God, Reese. Reese. The woman got five children. Five children. So I said to her, Madam, you work a whole week? She said, yes. I said, how much do you think that value? She said, $400. I said, but let me tell you, I'm going to curse out Reese, and if he doesn't pay you, we will file a trade dispute wow. before the new FNM Minister of Labor, Dion Fox. Do you think he really got to get that far? Well, the woman need her money. All right? The woman need her money. And I can't let them pretty children starve. Yeah. All right? The woman needs some money. So God had it that. Friday night, I ran in to a former FNM ambassador to the United Nations. And he was in the company of his wife. And I said, I know I could win this one. Because I am going to appeal to the mother in his wife. And I said, Mr. Ambassador, Joshua says, I need permission to draw near to your dining table so that I may put a case on behalf of a Negro woman. And he welcomed me. And I said, I put, it, I put the case. He said, well, do you have a number? I said, yes, give me a second. I got her number, gave it to him, and he has promised me that Saturday, that Saturday gone, he's going to call her, and he's going to wake things out. Meanwhile, as the mother of five stopped and her five children, Minnes and Reese Chipman were on father, what the father name? Father in, in the Mason edition, that Catholic priest. Oh. Can't remember what father name. Ezekiel, send me father name. Father Martin, Martin, can't remember father name, the Catholic priest. They were having party. Menace and Reese, they partied, according to intelligent report. But meanwhile, a mother of five Negro children who campaigned and helped them to vote Mr. Christie out, they ain't pay her yet. Oh, they were celebrating Dr. Menace's birthday. That's what they're celebrating? Yeah. Okay, they were celebrating Dr. Menace's birthday. But meanwhile, the woman wasn't even invited to the party because them five children would have done well at the party. So I call on the FNM to ensure. Now the woman told me that Reese say he can't pay her 
until the 1st of July. Now, I don't know if that's when his next parliamentary check is coming, because I checked with a confidential source in the Ministry of Finance, and they told me that little extra money that, that the MPs didn't get, they're putting it together so that they'll get all the money that they didn't get. So, let me threaten Reese. There's something called a garnishing order. Unless you pay the Negro woman, and I demand 10% for having the poor woman wait. You know the woman was poor. Poor and destituted. And I have a conscience problem. I don't want to put them five little pretty children on this desk dress in their F and M shirt. Wow. I don't want to do it. Because in my mind, that constitute child abuse. So I don't want to do that, Reese. Because if I was forced to do it, I will give them five poster of you and show them how to tear it up. Okay? You almost stop exploiting the poor. And I'm the leader of the woman them. And anybody who exploit a woman without my permission, they're in trouble. But you won't give permission to exploit a woman. Of course not. Don't forget, my ma is a woman. That's correct. This is All right. right? So I don't want that. I, so you, you'll find the money. $400. And Joshua says, I hope that you did contact the woman as you promised. Because your, your wife was very upset when I told them about the children. Told her about the children. So I... I See, my dear, she told me she watched Freedom Math. You see, I put your case. And I ain't care if you owe the FNM. You're a Bahamian. And you have a right to work and get paid. And reach them, they're making plenty of money in the House of Assembly. I used to make plenty of money. I'm the same. I, 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 yeah, they paid me $1,200 a month. $1,200 really that much. Right? That's plenty of money. I never made that before. What the heck are you talking about? That's plenty of money. You okay. know what all I was able to do? I fed more pregnant women. And pay bills. <laughs> so, that's all I'll tell it to yours. So be careful. Or the five children, they all could stand up on this desk. And you wouldn't want me to put them here as I ask them, little children, what time is it? And, they, and they know the slogan. It's the people time. Yeah. <laughs> so I just thought I would tell that to them. But I haven't given you that sad story. I got another story to give you, and it's about a Negro man who the woman at Arawak Key asked me if I mean the brown-skinned man with curly hair. So I said, well, let me think about it, if he has curly hair, and then I said, yeah, he does have curly hair. That's how she described Romy Ferrer, yeah. how you pronounce Romel it? Romel Ferrera. Romel Ferrera. Yeah. He is the fella who was a part of a successful campaign and marathon to get rid of Jerome Fitzgerald. And it worked. All right? Now, all of a sudden, since the FNM has won, the gas is no longer a threat. There's no more pollution. The people they mean to die no more. They ain't doing no more blood tests. They stop. Romy, now, you would recall that Romy addressed the House of Assembly last week when he, God forgive me, with his stupid self, announced that they were going to build some homes opposite Coca-Cola. God forgive me for calling Romy stupid because when he was a little baby boy, I used to lift him up. But I regret that I didn't miss and drop him. Senator, you can't say that for children. Yes, I forget. He's, he's a big man. He don't live children. But I used to lift him up. I should have dropped him. In fact, after his bad performance, I ain't lifting up no more children. Unless the children them is mine. <laughs> All right? And there it is. He announced that they're going to build these homes. But Romy and those just released, just released the the, the, the Pan-American Health Report on the dump. And in the report, it says that there must be a buffer between the city dump 
and any future residents of 1,000 meters. I asked Brother Delancey to find out for me how much feet is a thousand meter? A thousand meters is three thousand two hundred and eighty point two thousand two three thousand two hundred and eighty point eight four feet. Okay. All right. Now, I was in the Senate when Allison Maynard bought the resolution for the government to have the treasurer sell that same piece of land which is about just a little over five acres to uh, and the government meaning the plp in the resolution never said what the land was being used for and i was suspicious and i criticized them and i told allison and the honorable senators that i couldn't vote for it because they are not telling me and when i take into the consideration that the document says that the land in question was how many feet? 2,400 feet from the dump. Yeah. Right? 2,400 feet. Mm. How much meter is that? That's 731.52 meters. So it is, if we're using meter, the, 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 the Pan American Health Organization that did the, the, the study say it must be at a least town. a buffer mm -hmm. between of 1,000 feet. Yeah. But 240, 2,400 feet, mm. it, how many meters did you say that is? That's 731.52 meters. Right. Now, this is Romy, the educated man, who's the director of Save the Bay, who's an environment lawyer, who's the man who went into Marathon to alert them how Jerome Fitzgerald hit the report that would have told them of the pollution. Here is the same man who's now the Minister of Environment in which his government released the report on the investigation of the landfill, but he now gets in the House of Assembly and ignore his own report yeah. with his stupid self. God forgive me for calling Romy stupid because I know him so good. Oh boy, I hate this country. I know all these people so good, yet I say all these bad things about them. God forgive me. But you stupid self. Well, what? I, I have to say it. They released the report. Yeah. Right? This man obviously didn't write that speech. He obviously, and he obviously didn't read the, the report that the, they yeah, released. Yeah, the Pan American World. So you world. see, yeah. don't mind these Negroes dressing coat suit and wearing bow tie. They dumb. And he's dumb. Because you can't get up in the House of Assembly and contradict the report. The FNM accused the PLP of hiding the report. And Kenrick Dossett, the PLP former minister responsible for the environment, said we didn't hide it. The report came in in the height of the election and that's why it wasn't released. I think that's a reasonable explanation he gave. But the FNM released it and notwithstanding, they released it, identifying the danger to having homes next to the dump, that there is no buffer between the homes and the dump of a thousand meter, which you say is how many feet? 3,000. 3,280 feet. Right. So Romy comes, read a speech, obviously, who was advising him, he didn't visit the land. I visited the land. So when the government, the PLP government, bought it up, I knew what they were talking about. I knew. And I knew it was a bad idea to build homes there. Now, the same report from the Pan-American Health Organization, which the FNM released, says the same thing. But the minister responsible for the environment and the minister responsible for housing happens to be the same Negro. Romy, he's the environmental minister, he's the housing minister, and now he is going to build house in a hazardous zone. And these people ain't safe. The report actually, the report actually deemed it as an environmental health hazard. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So there you have it. This is the man who accused 
Jerome Fitzgerald of pussyfooting and holding on to the information. But if you want to see a big fat pussyfoot, it's him. Wow. It's him. Gone. Gone. With your big fat pussyfoot. <laughs> uh, I got to take it easy, man. Senator. Yeah. I mean, Lord, I prayed for Negro leadership. I said, Lord, send me a Negro that I can trust, that who really loves the people. And it's not, look like I keep getting King George to tie Negroes. So, Romy, don't build no house there. It's a bad idea. It's condemned by the health report, okay? And when you measure, it's 2,400 feet. That's 731 point something meters. Mm -hmm. But the health reports say you must have at least a Some thousand buffer. meters between. That's what the a buffer. buffer. Yeah. I just tired of these Negroes. I, I can move. I don't know where to go. If we don't have the fire, now they're talking about building homes there. What, what, what suggestion? What should we actually do with this big hazardous dump right there? What should we do now? I say the FNM should give the contract to Brent. Let Brent get a badge and badge it out of NASA. That's a, that's a, that's yeah. a simple fix. Yeah, they had 25 million. The effort, minutes of them had 25 million in the previous Ingram administration. So why they didn't fix it? Well, you know, there's always corruption around here now. Wow. So that is what has happened here. It is just horrible, 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 horrible. They, they won't do nothing to make me happy. It wouldn't do anything to make me happy. It's just amazing. So there you have it, folks. I want to come back to the woman and the five children them. But perhaps I'll deal with that afterward. Today, I had a female student, a Negro student from one of the government schools, um, spoke to me. And she is complaining about the new Negro Minister of Education. What is his name? The Honorable uh, Jeff, Jeffrey Lloyd. Jeffrey Lloyd. And one of the things that I found so sad is she did not give me her name. I said, why are you not telling me her name? She said she was afraid of victimization. So I said, how old are you? She said she was 17. And she said she, she couldn't give me her name. Because she was afraid of victimization. Wow. And then when I thought about all the threats that Jeff Lloyd has been sending to me, the girl got said, Here, yeah, hide your identity. A minister, San Andre? Not minister. I said a minister. Yeah, San Jeff, Andre? Jeff ain't safe. Wow. He ain't safe. You know, he was the deacon in the church, and he asked the Pope to withdraw his name. That's a true story. It was in the newspaper. That's a true story. The Pope appointed, he asked the Pope to be a deacon. And the Pope, you know, I wasn't a member of the church yet. Okay. And he asked the Pope. If I was, I would have sent the Pope a telegram. And I would have said in Haitian Creole to the Pope, Pope, Pope La, Papa. Gade pour Jeff La, Pasque, I passe che pour Papa Li. And le Papa Li mouri, I pa kone sa. Papa Vazinye Disa Le Vazinye Santi Papa Lee Avant Imuri. Yeah, I will tell the Pope that. In fact, I'm gonna start writing the Pope. You could tweet you could tweet the Pope. The Pope has the Pope is on Twitter? Yeah, you could you could send a tweet there. Yeah? Yeah. Well I'm gonna tweet His Holiness and <laughs> let him know. Yeah. I'm going to do it. I'm going to tell him what all Jeff is doing. I'm going to Pope. I'm going to tweet. Is he, he, is he really on Twitter? Yeah, I think so. You can tweet the Pope, man. Okay. Send the Pope a tweet. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. But I don't want to do it in English. I think I'm going to do it in Haitian Creole because um, I would want Frankie, who's the Minister of Transport. Yeah. I am going to tweet His Holiness because Jeff them ain't treating the people them right and i have to let this holiness know what jeff those are doing this is freedom march and when i return 
I'm gonna ask you to help me raise $400 worth the grocery for the woman. Don't mind, she bought F and M. Freedom March with Rodney Monker will be right back after this. This is Freedom March with Rodney Monker. Welcome back to Freedom March, broadcasting live here in Nassau, Bahamas. My name is Rodney Monker, and, I'm in, and I am joined in studio by a great friend, Dion Delancey. Dion, welcome back to yeah. Freedom Match. Yes, Senator. Yesterday, I had a very interesting call from a Negro man who identified himself as Pinder. And he said that he lives in Pinder's Point in Grand Bahama. It was a call that I enjoyed. And what I like about Mr. Pinder is as he counseled me to remain fair and objective and honest, he quoted a number of powerful, powerful scriptures. And I was moved and I felt blessed. I had only one regret, Mr. Pinder. I didn't have pen and paper. I really wanted to write down all of those scriptures that you referred me to. And I would be honored if perhaps 630 or day after or whenever it is convenient for you, if you would call me again and give me those scriptures. I'd like to share them with my spiritual advisor, Bradley Roll. You, Mr. Pinder, you are indeed a biblical scholar. And I'm also suspicious that you might be one of the saints living here in the Bahamas. God bless you. And if you are ever move again to give me godly counsel, listen, you're welcome. Because I'm a sinner. I've, I, I have lots of sin. I try to confess them. I'm a sinner. And I need God's grace. Because I'm living in a time here in my country, the Bahamas, where at 60, I should be cooling out and not being angry. Yeah. When I'm angry. Very, very angry. Would you kindly read some of the numbers? Because I want to open up the phone. So read, read okay. some line numbers to me. To call in live on the show, you can call us at 323-775. 323-7775 or toll free 300-0045 or you can send us a text or WhatsApp at 357-7469. Well, I thank you. I was reading the punch. I do read the punch. And I asked the punch if it could just create a Christian page, a page where there would be some beautiful woman with clothes. I'm 60. And at 60, you know, suppose I didn't have a pure in heart. What's unpure about that? I didn't say anything was unpure. I huh? said, suppose I didn't have a pure in heart. Because to the pure, all I'm things are pure. pure. Okay. But page three is like for younger men. I want like a page four where there would be godly women like dress in nice Christian clothing. What's not Christian about that? I, I'm saying this is like for young people. I'm 60. I may look at that and see that's, that might be Christian-like. Okay. Well, obviously, you're not <laughs> saved. <laughs> so to the punch. Can we have like a Christian page with beautiful women wearing nice church clothes? Welcome to Freedom March. I understand we have a caller. Hello? Speak to me. Hello? Speak to me. Stop listening to the echo of your television. So, cut your TV down. Hello? Hello? How are you doing, sir? I am fine. How are you? I'm Rachel. I'm one of the people stem from a Big Pond. You're from Big Pond? Yes, sir. You must, yes, be, sir. You must be one of my brothers. 
Um, I just want to know when they're going to start like a cleanup program around you. Know? Around their dirty? Around your yeah, always dirty. Who's your um, MP? Who's your MP? Um, Sean Adol Cadre, but he's a good man. I just need to know when they're going to start. Okay. I they're not collecting the garbage on time around here. What, what's going on with that? Well, Did got, the contract stop? So who's collecting the garbage now? Listen, hold on. It's the people's time. Okay? Um, <laughs> but isn't it? Is it is indeed the people's time. And another thing, I, am, I used to work, I mean, the people at the Ministry of Works, um, we did all the hurricane relief work and stuff like that, and we haven't been paid yet. Really? Yes. Can and you? This was from how long did the hurricane been gone now? Which one? Because you know we had two hurricanes. Was the it? last major one? That's Macho or Walking? Right, Macho. Ma Macho. And we're not paid yet. That's October. Yes, we're not paid yet. We need our money. Well, listen. Don't worry. We have Desmond Bannister, and I can tell you a story. Even though I cast him out. I had to represent a Haitian man against some conky Joe. And I, uh, and, and um, what's his name? Desmond, Desmond Bannister, Bannister was the lawyer. And I discovered that the conky Joe belonged to the same denomination that my wife belonged to. And I told Desmond, you tell that conky Joe man that if he doesn't pay that Haitian man, it means he is not safe. And I'm going to ask my wife to stop going to that church. <laughs> you hear me? And my brother, I don't know what Desmond did. Desmond told me, come for the money. And we went, and Desmond made sure that the Conky Joe man pay all that money. You hear me? So you deal with that for me. I leave that in your hand. Hold the feet to the fire. Yeah. If you was the MP, I voting for you. Well, I thank you for your, you know, your confidence, but they this have to pay. Powerful. Indeed it is. Desmond is, a, day, Desmond is a good man. Go see him. Folks, as you call me, turn your TV down in the background so you wouldn't hear the, the echo. echo. Do I have more of my people on the line? Hello. Welcome to Freedom Match. Oh, please hang. Okay. Any, Help. Anybody else is there? Well, while you are calling, I can tell you of a story in the punch. I don't do like to read the punch because the punch is so sinful. I mean, more sin in the punch? <laughs> Goodness me. At 60, it, it makes my heart, like, jump. And that is when I recognize that I might be sinning. All right? <laughs> Dear punch, my boyfriend, baby, is not my baby. What? What should I do? What is this, man? All kind of nonsense. I'm not saying it's in the punch. All right? <laughs> the punch must stop it. Yeah. I read a story, and I'm convinced that sister woman in Black Village. Stop it. You can cause that woman to get beat. The punch should be careful. That got to be sister woman who lives in Black Village that the punch is writing about. You better stop it, because that's a crazy man she married to. And I'm 60. I, 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 I know all this. Well, I glimpse it. And the same story. It's a sweet adding story. <laughs> Right? Oh, I want the people of Black Village to stop telling the punch the, the, the neighborhood um, business. Because that man crazy. It could be crazy. in Pinewood, it could be in Kamaika, that no, could no, be no, anywhere. No, 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 no. Welcome to Freedom Match. Hello. I want, hello, my dear. Hi, Mr. Monka. How are you? I am fine, but angry. How are you? I'm, I'm great. <laughs> What's but, on your um, mind? I'm only looking at a few observations about the, about the show and about the chat. Okay. That there's a gentleman on here. He wants to call you and I, I, I guess tell you what's on his mind. And he's been a nuisance. Where's he? To us, the, um, he's on, uh, um, which, which um, group is he in? You know, we, the, the woman there, man, you have a lot of followers. This is on you know, and WhatsApp we keep him. or Facebook? He need to behave. This is WhatsApp? You know what your name is. Behave, man. Is Stop this, it. Is this, what, this WhatsApp or Facebook? No, on Facebook. You he just to behave, man. Tell him. Keep warning him. Tell him. Tell him what you can do with him. Let me tell you what to tell him. He keep fooling around with you. Tell don't fool with the senator. And him. you don't call him. Tell him. All right? Tell him this. Listen to the word. Tell him, licky do mama. Say, licky do licky mama. Licky do mama. Yeah. And if he doesn't understand that, you say, licky do mama to the third degree. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Look, senator, he's hearing you. 
Well, let's cut some out. But you must yeah. cut some out in yeah, an... Yeah, we can deal with him. Yeah, just... Be watching him. Tell him Licky Dom Mama. Yeah, you know, we protect you. Protect me, On eh? the air and on the chat, so he better be here. Chill out. My brother, chill out. You know you it. Tell him Licky Dom Mama. Wow. Licky Dom Mama. You yeah. better chill out. And that's about a frying pan, man. Yes. This is powerful. Well, these, these people are really protective of you. I want yeah. the woman them to protect me. Because at 60, I hardly could fight now. I'm getting old. Welcome to Freedom March. Rodney Manta. Darling. How are you? Listen, I'm angry because the FNM took a contract from a man in Grand Bahama and ain't put nobody to finish the wall, the sea wall. Anyhow, don't worry about that. Okay. What I call you for, you can't talk no doggy bag no more and you can't talk no bread and... <laughs> Chocolate no more. How you mean? I just met with Senator, what's Senator Sawyer? What's his name? Senator Dwight Sawyer. Sawyer yeah. Um, he and I attended the 82nd birthday of meritorious council member, um, what Marshall for his name? Again, Marshall. Mr. Marshall. Yeah, Mr. Marshall. Oswald Marshall. Yeah. Uh -huh. And while we sat, I said to him, when do you expect the Senate to meet? And he I can't tell you. He hinted, and I said, well, just make sure that the western wind is open. Okay? Yeah, I guess you got to come out Kamaika Road for your doggy bag. What part of Kamaika Road? What part of Kamaika? Yeah. I'm in Desmond Bannister. That's my representative. Yeah, you have Desmond to be careful because Bannister. We put him there. My wife saw a note, and she keep questioning me. Who this is in Kamaika Road? So I told him it's my auntie. You see? But I'll come. How is Desmond doing? Desmond doing just great, and he's going to do plenty of work for the Bahamian people, not just Kamaika. Okay. He's going to make the Bahamas beautiful again. Well, I hope you are right, because Desmond knows that I don't Skylar. The last time I cursed him out, I ran into his mummy, and she said to me, Mr. Monka, that is my son. Would you please stop cursing him out? And I said, Madam, I'm so sorry. I didn't know he was your son. All right? But I wish him the best. Because if he doesn't perform, he wouldn't know when he's voted out of office. Okay? Well, anyhow, I'm going to have your doggy bag ready for you. But you ain't telling me where to come. You hear me? How old are you? You sound like you in set with me. Let Mr. Delancey tell you where to come. Really? Who's this? Listen. Okay, I got your point. Thank you. I'll ask Mr. Lancy off here, okay? Okay, you and Mr. Lancy have a nice evening and, and get off the FM, please. I don't bother with the FM no wow. more, you know. I don't bother with the FM only when they start victimizing the PLP. Do I have anybody else there? Uh, Welcome to Freedom Match. I want two texts. Hello? If you okay, read some texts. Until one text goes, uh, good evening, Senator. Carl Bethel is not saved. I voted FNM and I already regret my vote simply because they seem to look out for Fred Smith and the save the vase for payback. That means every member of the House of Assembly is in trouble now and cannot speak clearly. We need to march on them. Where is Renard Henfield? Well, Renard has sold out. Don't forget who Renard is. Renard is Dr. Minnis' wife, first cousin's son. So, Renard is Minnis, right? And you know, John Bullitt, well, he's, he's hiding because Janet has been campaigning for government house. But the punch has told us that Janet is going to have to wait for two years because apparently Dr. Minnis wants her royalness to remain on government hill. Dame Margaret. Next thing. All right. Mr. Monger, Dr. Minnis is a picky teeth Montobi. He need he's nothing but a frying pan with years of collie on it. He wow. has neglected the residents of Kalani. Likido Mama. That's powerful. I have a call. Welcome to Freedom March. Hello? Good afternoon, former Senator. Good afternoon, my How are brother. you? I am fine. That's good, that's good. Former Senator, I heard you last week. In your in your in your review, your your debate on Freedom March, stating 
um, uh, the fact that Dr. Minnis has not declared. Yes, that is true. But I've, I posted on your page proof that he has. What, what did you post? articulated in the, 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 the Tribune. Hold on. What did you post? I posted the Tribune article. Of, of what year? Last year. That's 2000 and what? 16. In which he declared what? His, uh, his, his, his assets. His, he, he, he declared. They, they declared... Uh, uh, um, they, the, the March, well, they, they, had the, the March, they met the March first deadline. Did he declare that he had a contract that Papa told him to divest in 2007? Senator Munker, who That's else in the sitting cabinet of the PLP had contracts? Okay, now. Where, where now, scholarships department you, is? You ain't and, safe. And, and you see how we run from it? You, you ain't safe. And Clarence Road. You, you ain't safe. Those buildings. Those buildings are owned by the Fitzgeralds. That's got to be Diagula. Mr. Diagula, get off <laughs> this radio Diagula. before this I stop. somebody who knows better, Mr. Mr. Former Senator. You are not answering the question. You are politically dishonest. No, I am not politically dishonest. Then, and you are politically misleading, Senator. So let me ask you the question one more time. Yes, sir. In 2007, Menace became the Minister of Health. Yes, sir. The Right Honorable Hubert Alexander Ingram told me that he asked Menace to divest himself of the contract. Yes, sir. In 2007, mm -hmm. did Minnis declare an interest in a contract in his public disclosure? No, he did not. In, 2000, in 2008, did he declare? No, sir. In 2009, did he declare? No, sir. In 2010, did he declare? No, sir. In 2011? No, sir. Then he must take the beam out of his dirty eyes before he send but, people but, files but, 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 to the Mr. Attorney you General. Along with the PLP administration, they were doing the same thing. I know, General. But I gangsterism is wrong. The ministry, even today, I'm the justice of the peace. It's wrong. That's today. what I'm saying. But it's wrong. I don't care who in the PLP did it. It's who wrong. The garbage trucks on the road today. I don't know, because Senator. I don't know. Let me give you some homework. Don't slander nobody to cost me. I yes, sir. I, I, that's why I said let me give you some homework. Give me homework. I, you find out who have the contracts to collect the, while the, while the, the, the basically the relatively new garbage truck the that, that belongs to the department the are, are rotten. You're going to cost me to send. No, don't send. Don't You're going to cost me to don't send. send. Don't send because you know Minis didn't disclose. No. I and Minis therefore cannot send no file to the Attorney General unless he expect the Attorney General office to be a gangster office. Now we know. The, the Bible the, say, the Attorney General's office take now the beam is, out of your eyes. The, the, the Attorney General's office now is in good hands. And, I, am kept, I am confident in Carl Wilshire Bessel as Attorney General. Well, if, you are, if you your confidence is correct, he, I will do an exceptional job. He can't prosecute because his leader in this close. You do well with your Negro self. God save the Queen. Any more calls? From a senator. God save the Queen. God. This, uh, it's amazing. Some more text. Here is a Negro who wants to defend a prime minister who did not divest. And Minister has yet to tell us that he has divest because in, 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 in May, he disclosed for the first time an interest in the contract. Minister is safe. He saved, he sanctified. And Carl Inge listened to him because Carl is not a gangster. Whatever you think about Carl, he's not a gangster. He's not a gangster. Anyway, let's have some text. I've never seen nothing like this in all my life. Hi, Senator. Why the FNM take the contract from the gentleman in Grand Bahama? It's the people time, I guess. And Iram Lewis is lawless. The last time I saw Iram, I tried to serve a subpoena on him, and he break off run, jump in a truck, and reverse, and all I shout to him, stop in the name of the queen, that Negro never stop. <laughs> and any time the police, a JP, or somebody say stop in the name of the queen, he's supposed to stop. Yeah. Welcome to Freedom Match. Hello? If you'd like to make a call, read more texts and tell someone call me. Senator, I campaigned for Travis and he promised all my boys money and little jobs. Now we're trying to call him and he wouldn't answer his phone. Please talk to him. Travis, listen. 
It's the people's time. All right? And you are getting a good salary now. You get 28 as an MP, 45 as the parliamentary secretary in the Ministry of Tourism. And then Denuncio, the Aguilar, he's a multimillionaire 29 times. You can borrow something from him and help your people, the Negro people. Anybody else on the phone? Um, go ahead, read text. Um, let's get Travis something. is hiding? Let's get something else. Shucks. Travis hides so much that he even ain't been to younger funeral. Yeah? It's just amazing what takes place in this country. Welcome to Freedom March, my dear. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, um, yes. I would like to know why the Senate, why the Minister, Mr. De Igler, put himself in a tourism commercial right away if we don't have any money. Well, you've got to understand that the Aguilar is not safe. And he's very arrogant. Him and I have same ancestral home, Haiti. You know? And the Aguilar comes from the elite Haitians. And they were supporters of Papa Doc. And I suspect that the Aguilar wakes magic. All right? So he does all kind of nonsense. But one day, free tongue will do to him what the Haitian did to Baby Doc. They chased Baby Doc to France. And you may not believe it, the Aguilar is a Negro Frenchman. Oh. Anyway, take it care. Hey. Do I have anybody else on the phone? Tout le monde haïtien. Est-ce que vous connaissez family, family, the Aguilar, seven, Papa Doc? Mokut! I have more text? Hey Rodney, let's start a trend. Let's get some flags made up saying woman them. Hopefully it would spread throughout the country. Let us buy into what we believe. Yes. Or let's go with Freedom March. Flags, it would promote your show even more and can be a very lucrative. It can be very lucrative towards what you're trying to do together and what you're trying to do together to make people stronger and for a stronger opposition. This is true. Well, do we have that person number? Yes, it's right here. We're going to keep your number. Write the number down now. Um, because I need to hold a woman's conference. Wow. Because the woman interest is not being protected. And don't forget, you all went with me in rejecting gender equality. And I want to reward the woman now. I want to reward you all. All right? So we need a conference where the woman and the man them will get together and we look out for the interests of the woman because you all are our wives, our daughters, our mothers, our aunt, our first cousin. Petition the government to tell them to take water for all women yeah. products. Yeah, we have to look out for the woman them. Mm -hmm. And it is my prayer that Marion Beryl would be like the ordinary woman. I want the woman them to submit and reject gender equality, and reject white control. I just want plenty of babies, you know? That's how, we got 700 islands. 700 islands and 2,000 rocks and keys, all right? And we should populate. You either populate it, or others will. Simple as that. How, what is your views on white control? Or you could duck the question. Because you're 30, and I'm 60, right? I will duck that question right now. Duck the question, because I don't want no contradiction on freedom math. Well, I do, I do believe that children are a blessing. And wow. you know, if they come, you should take care of your kids. This is powerful. You know? This is But also, my view, there should be a little family planning too. What is that? Are you trying to spread the seeds of the devil on the show? No, I'm not. But then, in this case, um, I will not hear your views. <laughs> I think you need prayer. No. You hear me? We all need prayer. I Everyone needs prayer. I will give you a story of a weightless man who helped to kill a whole baby. What? And I've been in Miami Street for years searching for the graveyard. This is Freedom March. 
Lord Jesus, move from the hearts of the Negro men the evil thought of so-called family planning because it is the works of the devil. A whole Negro man, I suspect, kill a whole baby. And I've been looking for that baby all along the sun. So be careful. This is Freedom March. No. Do you have something to say to the Senator? Call Freedom March at 323-7775. Toll free from anywhere in the Bahamas at 242-300-0045. Freedom March with Rodney Monker, only on ILTV. This is Freedom March with Rodney Monker. Welcome back to Freedom March, broadcasting live here on ILTV in Nassau, Bahamas. You, of course, can join us on ILTV.com Facebook page, which I'm streaming. I'm getting complaints that on Friday, you were not able to find ILTV Facebook page, nor did you see it streaming. Well, if that is true, I'm upset, and I shall go and petition management, because everybody must see Freedom March, okay? So, do we have any more? Do we I have a phone call? Welcome to Freedom March. Hello? Turn on your TV. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Monker? Yes. Hi, you had a guy earlier from Big Pawn, right? Yes. Can, can you tell him that um, to, do you have to start from your house first for cleanliness? Okay. Instead, <clears throat> instead of calling you to clean up people, the people's place, tell them that cleanliness starts at home. The Bible tells you that. Yes. Okay. But I think he was referring to the fact that there has been no garbage collection. Oh, I mean, if he means with no garbage, but I mean, well, cleanliness starts at home. Yes. He's supposed to clean up his area. He's supposed to start with his area first. Yes. Can they tell him, get the rest of the boys and all the other guys around him and clean up his own place. The Bible tells you that cleanliness starts at home. I accept that, but I don't, I don't want you to ignore what I'm telling you, that he was referring to the fact that the garbage truck has not been in. You see? Okay, then. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Okay, God bless you, nevertheless. You too. Okay, you have a nice day. I thank you. Bye. Um, do we have more text? Yes, we have uh, text messages. Senator, can you please tell us why uh, the Prime Minister Minister ain't give Adrian Gibson, Michael Penn, Mark Humes, or Ricky Markey no positions? Michael but, Pine. Michael Pine. Uh, but he gave all the young boys and girls. Well, I can't honestly answer that. The most I can say to them is, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. And they, you will mount up with wings like eagle. But this is politics. And it means you might have to agitate. And those Negroes would make great agitators. Welcome to Freedom March. Hello? Listen to me. Hello? Hello? Sir, what's on your mind? Welcome to Freedom Match. Hello, Mr. Monka. Sir? Um, that lady who called from Big Pond, I was referring to the garbage. These old people need to keep their nose where it's supposed to be. <laughs> oh. That's their problem now. Nah, she got to be an old PLP. Tell her go stick her head in the garbage. But, no, man. You can't say that, man. Uh, um, anyway, listen. I'm going to rebuke you three times, okay? Honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord Jehovah thy God giveth thee. Who is your parents? Everybody who are your senior. Any more texts? Mr. Senator, why do you think that there are so much Filipino nurses at PMH? There are nurses that graduated weeks ago and need those jobs. It's really not the Bahamian people's time, like they say. Well, be careful, because my personal physician... Other than Jesus, is Dr. Dwayne Sands. And Dr. Dwayne Sands has finally gotten his wish. Wants to be Minister of Health. He wants to administer, administer health care. So now he has it. I'm going to be watching him to see what he does. Dr. Dr. 
um, sons, I need you, one, to employ every qualified Bahamian citizen. Two, I need you to find some wheelchair. So when the people come to accidents and emergency, and I'm happy that you read that, today, as I was leaving a local food store, a member of the Holy Roman Catholic Church approached me and she complained bitterly over how a person from 2014 has been waiting for surgery. And finally, on the 9th of May, the person was invited for surgery. And on the 10th of May, the air condition found out. So Dr. Sands, when are you going to fix the air condition? Because the woman is very upset. And as, the, as she talked to me, I said in my mind, she sounds like an f &M, But I still wish the best for her. Because she's a member of my church and she's a citizen. And her family should not be subjected to that indignity because men say there's a calm over the country. Welcome to Freedom Match. Hello? Hello, Mr. Malka. How are you today? Listen, I'm angry and I feel like cursing. I, I hear you angry. Oh, Lord, every day you angry. Don't let them make you angry they make today, me okay? angry, man. All kind of nonsense. Anyhow, Mr. Malka, yes? I have a problem. What is your problem, there? Um, second afternoon, my spiritual advisor for me too. Um, the spiritual advisor um, is um, um, playing I was at the eye clinic today. Really? Mr. Monker. Yes? I need glasses. Mr. Monker, you know when they're telling me my, um, the next available appointment is because they only have one up to down. This is that the correct word? Uh, um, say it. Up to, up, up, I know up what you mean. Just something like that. Something like that. I can't pronounce it, you know. Yeah, too big for me to pronounce, Mr. Monker. They have one. One. Who is that and person? 60,000 people waiting. You know what they tell me? My, my, I could get my prescription for my um, See her? You see? Next year. Really? Next year, Mr. Monko. Mr. Monko, now you tell me. You think that's right? Listen, it's the people's time. Yes, yeah, the people's time for them, but I had I, I, I other people. Wow. You speak I had other people. I need my glasses. How but, am I supposed to see? But you see, when Dr. Perry Gomez bought in the Chinese doctor, to move your things from off your eye. A bunch of people say you see. Yeah, the kind of rock and stuff. Right, you say see. I wasn't one of them. Yeah, but they complain, say he, all he's doing is bringing Chinese in. But when the Chinese finish, everybody could see. But Mr. Mocha, only one of them, they have gained 50,000 patients. It's a disgrace. It's a disgrace. What they could do? We, we may that have mean to I have, I'm unemployed. That means I have to go scrap money, borrow from my family to go to the, uh, the private doctor to get prescription for my glasses. Well, if you're going to the private doctor, I'm going to suggest you talk to Bran because Bran has a member of his council who is an eye specialist. Who is Bran? Brad McCartney, the leader of the DNA. Don't you oh, know? Okay. You don't know um, the council member, Johnny Rogers? No, ma no, no, sir, I don't know that. Well, you before you go, you come see me and give you a DNA flag. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and once you, once you flag that. Uh -huh, they got to, they got to work with me. They going to have to work with you, okay? Come on, Mr. Malcolm, man, that's ridiculous. Mr. Wood, do we have something to do something now? The PLPO, they kick us out, so what they can do for us now? Well, I may have to get his number for you tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'll have a number for you to call him. Okay, I can call you tomorrow. Okay, then take it care. Okay, you. Welcome to Freedom Match. Uh, Brother Monga. Sir. Yes, sir. God bless you. I thank you. Yeah, what? Mr. Brother Monga, mine, I having a problem with, with the passport. The passport office? He's gone? You can't have no problem with the passport office. Um, Han Phil is the Minister of Foreign Affairs. Is he responsible for passport? Shucks. Anyway, he's gone. Anybody else on the phone? Somebody else on the phone? Well, you know, we always read Re all texts. This one is pretty long, but, you know, it, I think it's it, against you. But, you know, it's not cursing. But would you like me to read the text? Well, if it doesn't hurt my feelings. Well, I'm going to read it anyhow. Read the text. Hey, good afternoon, former or ex-Senator Mr. Monko. I really, really used to admire your show. Man, I can remember setting my alarm for 5 p.m. in the afternoon on the local radio station. Man, I really used to encourage many people to follow up the show. But now I see what the masses used to tell me that Mr. Monka is an opportunist. 
I mean, from this election, engine started up from the last six to five months ago right up to now, Mr. Monka, every day on politics. And I mean politics, especially against Menace and his FNM party before. Stop! Negro, what do you mean that I'm an opportunist? I've gotten nothing under PLP. I never got anything under the FNM. Well, no, that ain't totally true. Papa dug a drain at the public pump. And I asked Papa not to send any black people. And Papa sent me the stupidest white man I ever know, <laughs> ever met. That white man put the drain 175 feet from the pump. You hear me? And Bradley Roberts, when the PLP came to power in 2000 and what? Bradley was minister, whatever year that was, must be 2002. Bradley Roberts, I said to him, listen, all I asked Papa, Papa sent me a stupid white man. Bradley sent one truck, and they burst the hole straight to the ocean. I could see sand. And I had that drain at my public pump. Outside of that, nobody is giving me anything. Because I don't know what was there, and I don't ask them. Oh yeah, Papa gave me some medicine when I was sick. Welcome to Freedom March. Hello. Stop talking Hello. secret. Hi. <laughs> how are you? I'm fine. What's on your mind? Mr. Senator, how you doing? Listen. Don't mind that crazy woman. You carrying on. Okay. Everybody is be victim for you. You is be carrying on. I need you to come to Freeport. Uh, I need you to come march with us. We go march with you in Freeport. In Freeport. What are you planning? Yeah, pardon? What are you planning? You tell me what you tell me a march. Yes, well, I, I'll come to Freeport. What you can march yeah, for? You, you have my number. I match with you in Nassau, Mrs. Um, you, you're the beautiful Senator. woman I hug up by Windsor Park? Yes, sir. Listen, I'm willing to match now. Right. Listen, we got to match. We got to match. Okay. Any woman that is as kind as you are can get me to match around free, Freeport. We got to match. Mr. Senator, you have my card, so you call me and then we can plan it. Okay. I All prom right, Mr. I, Senator. I promise you. You enjoy yourself. You is... You can on. Thank you very much. Okay, you take him on. Okay, it's a wonderful woman. I shall go to Freeport and march. I'm just march PLPs them all over the place. You are better less march because men is victimizing. And now, Fred Smith is controlling the Attorney General office. All right. More text. It's, it's it's just amazing. Read more text. Read a different text. Mr. Monka, my concern is about East Bay Street. What about East Bay Street? What are we going to do about those old buildings on Bay Street, a tourist destination? The Ministry of Work with all these garbage around the place. Nassau is dirty. Well, thank God we have a clean man as Minister of Tourism. Dionysio. Dionysio. In fact, I, let me read this article that I got of Fred Mitchell, um, Fred Mitchell website. Who the hell does the Dionysio... The argument think he is, son of a gun, the man who makes his money selling food to Bahamians of all stripes and washing their clothes. A fellow named D'Annunzio D'Aguila is now a god. How did that happen? He lucked in on a wave of petulance in favor of a political party called the FNM and is now installed as the chief of a constituency dominated by poor black Bahamians. These are the Bahamians whom he despises, but he needs them to use his washing machines and buy food from his fresh market stores. I didn't know he owned fresh market. I didn't know that either. Jesus, I got to protest against him because those price too expensive. Okay, why are we going after him this week? It's because he's a faker and hypocrite and an elitist. Here's a fellow who twice admitted to cheating customs out of revenue. He now sits in a government that wants to preach to the PLP about fiscal prudence and keeping the books straight and about corruption. He was engaged in corruption, cheating customs, not once, but twice. But because he is FNM, of course, he is as pure as the driven snow. What really incensed us, though, was a stupid response to a proper legal point 
made by Bradley Roberts, the PLP chairman. The chairman, in a measured statement, told Mr. Diagula and those who worked for Sarkis is Marillion in the cabinet, like Mr. Diagula, Jeffrey Lloyd, and Marvin Dames, that when it comes to matters dealing with Bahama, they must recruit themselves. They have no moral authority to be involved in any way, shape, or form with negotiations with Bahama. He extended this advice to Prime Minister Hubert Minnis, who said that when he came to government, he would seize the asset called Bahama and sell it. This was an asset that the government did not own and does not now own. And so he must have been talking about expropriation. Imagine a PLP government making such a threat. Yet, lo and behold, now that they are clothed in righteousness, divine, since 2,500 people voted for them in their constituencies, both of them met with the new owners of Bahama after calling them crooks and gangsters. The Minister of Tourism, Mr. Diagula, said it from a platform during the election campaign. They want to talk turkey with the new owners. The PLP must be silent in the face of that hypocrisy and double dealing. No way! Mr. Diagula rose himself up to his full height, and that's not very high, and said in his greatest snaring white Bahamian accent, Bradley Roberts ought to sit small and shut up <laughs> after his party just got a good thumbing in the general election. Thumbing? What the hell is that, Bala? Speak Bahamian. What a louse, son of a gun. Mr. Diagula is then quoted in the Tribune as telling Mr. Roberts to go crawl into a hole. He's nasty to say that. Of course, he is fooling with the right one in Mr. Roberts. We carried Mr. Roberts' response in this edition. However, we thought it important to tell these stupid little tin gods like Mr. Diagula, that 2,500 people voting does not make you a god, and the utterer of all that is good, right and just in the world. When we need to hear about washing panties and what kind of bleach to use, we will ask you. <laughs> Until then, you shut the hell up. Nobody wants to hear from a crook who cheated the customs and now sits in government is preaching both corruption. And then it is concluded by using the sixth letter of the alphabet. I'm not going to call the sixth letter, but it's a sixth letter off. And so go and do that. Any other thing? I just had to read this. It says, you have a text commentary here. Go ahead. Mr. Monker, you are right about the boy control. It is designed to make the woman and her children sick. Wow. It, it causes the woman hormones to become imbalanced due to the progestin the pharmaceutical company put in the birth control. This progestin destroys the progesterone hormones that God has given us. Lord Jesus, I bring a country before you who has gone a whoring after stray and strange philosophy. It is my prayer, dear Lord, that the Bahamian woman will reject bite control pills. It is the pills of the devil. It is my prayer, dear Lord, and I ask you, dear Lord, to give me wisdom. And may the woman them submit and throw away the pills. Because there is a Negro female in my community who has confessed how the pills and some injection almost kill her. And she listened to me. I said to her, listen, throw away all them pills. One more text. Throw them away, hide from the doctor. And listen here, she has a wonderful bouncing baby boy. Every time I see her, I buy little things for the baby. Because I know 
How long ago? This ain't no baby no more. This, the baby got to be now about 16 months. Okay. That's yeah. recent. Yeah. Recent. Okay. Yeah. I have one more text. Go ahead. Hi, Mr. Monka. I am one of the women there. Mr. Monka, I have a problem. Every month I collect a little pay from NIB for my daughter because her father and NIB owe me for months. And they are saying it's the new system. They have, they have now. And it ain't working properly. So we, the people, have to, have to suffer. Mr. Monka, the father knows that this ain't right. I need my money. Listen, I have a good friend. He's in charge. Brensel Roll. Just tell Brensel. Write your letter. Address it to Mr. Brensel Roll, the state minister responsible for national insurance. Tell Brensel to give you justice. Let him know that you are poor. Brensel used to be poor, you know. My ma from Exuma and Brensel from Exuma. And Brensel has a kind heart. Brensel, come on, it's the people's time. Get the money out and pay the woman them, all right? And this, listen, miss, you could sue them, you know. You could take Brensel before the small claim court. You could sue. And that is my advice to you. If the FNM is giving you poor services, you sue them, all right? Don't mind Carl is the attorney general. There was only one man who was able to run him and Janet. It was me. When Papa tried to get him and Janet to sell the sweetheart bill, I followed them. And every time I show up and I told him and Janet how sweethearting was a sin, they pack up and break off run. All right? So I scared of them. All right? I want the woman them to get paid. And I want PLP supporters to see what's going on. In Grand Bahama, they took away a $4 million contract. All right? Why are you all standing up like chicken? It's time to march. You hear me? You call on your party to organize you to march. And I have the technical skills. I could bring in technical people, but you got to give them a little something now. Because they're good. Neil Stubbs, he's a good artist, Alan Strong. But they got to get paid. All right? And let's organize. Let's march. Don't you see the murder still taking place? Mao and Dane, they are meeting with strange foreign man from, um, from, from Europe. Meanwhile, the people them are still being killed. Yeah, we are. Kind of kill and every murder that takes place since Menace has been sworn in as Prime Minister, guess who murder they are? They belong to Menace, Marvin Dames, and the FNM. That's their murders. Before that, the murders belonged to Christie and the PLP. Now, there's Menace murder. And Menace said he was going to hang. But I never believed him. Never believed Menace. Menace ain't safe. Oh. Serious thing. Menace ain't safe. Menace is a man who say he can prosecute for corruption. But Menace ain't diverse. Yeah. Can you imagine? Lord Jesus, what wrong with these Negroes? What wrong? What wrong? What wrong with them, Lord? That they could pontificate and accuse of corruption. Menace need to go in the ocean <laughs> with a lot of soap and just wash away his sins. And then when he finish, welcome to Freedom Match. Hello. Good afternoon, Mr. Munker, to you and your assistant on the show. Good afternoon. Um, Mr. Munker, um, the Magistrate's Act, Section 5, right? Write that down. Um, Magistrate Act, Section 5. Go ahead. Yes, it, it deals with um, functions of the just, of a justice of, of the peace. The appointment? I'd like to know, when does a justice of the peace um, can suspend or um, discontinue being a justice of the peace? It is subject to two conditions. One, if, for instance, Her Excellency appointed you for a specific period, and or... If you committed a crime, the justice of the peace is a quasi-magistrate. We can order the police to lawfully arrest people. We can sign warrants of arrest, warrant of search. I just ordered about two years ago the police to arrest a woman who caught her husband keeping sweetheart. And when I saw what she was going to do to him, although he was guilty, I could not allow her to commit that crime. And I was there and I told the police, arrest the woman 
until the man was able to escape. Talk fast because time is running out on me. You may have to call me back tomorrow. Uh, no, no, not a problem. Call me back tomorrow. I love talking the law and the powers of a JP. Appointed under Section 5. The Justice of the Peace can order arrest. I've done it. But you say lock up the woman so the man could escape? Yes. The woman caught him and his sweetheart in the, in the truck. Okay. Right? right? I couldn't let her throw potash on the man. Oh, okay. Well, the other man was guilty. Yes, sweet adding is wrong. Sweet adding! Wrong! W-R-O-N-G! But I was not going to allow her to harm the man. I didn't mind if she threw a little hot water on him. <laughs> but I couldn't let her throw corrosive acid or stab him. Because there was a man after God's own heart. And he kept sweetheart. I'll talk about him tomorrow. What yeah. was his name? David. David. A man after God's own heart. When David go and kill the Mormon husband? He, David was wicked. Yeah. But he repented. I want you all to repent, eh? And be faithful to the, the woman. woman. Because if the woman them appear before me, I may have to arrest you all. <laughs> and I scared of these matters because matters of the heart, man and woman is go crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, we're leaving. We are leaving. I call on PLPs to rise up and march on Menace and the FNM. <laughs> Philip Brave Davis, when will you call to support us together to march against this wicked FNM government led by Philip, but led by. <laughs> Dr. Dr. Menace. The thoughts, views, and comments expressed by Rodney Monker, his guests, callers, and advisors on Freedom March are not necessarily those of the management, ownership, or production unit of ILS, the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is a production of ILTV Studios and cannot be reproduced or represented in part or entirety without the express written consent of the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is the intellectual property of the Verizon Media Group. Copyright 2017. All rights are reserved. <laughs>